New FIA President Mohammed Ben Salayam has warned Sir Lewis Hamilton he could face sanctions after boycotting the annual prize gala in Paris on Thursday night. Along with Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff, Hamilton WASNT in attendance to see Max Verstappen receive his World Championship trophy following Sunday's highly controversial Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. In the immediate aftermath of Verstappen's win, Hamilton was gracious, despite having an almost certain victory snatched away from him when FIA race director Michael Marzi altered safety car regulations in order to ensure a final lap of racing, a decision which ultimately played into the Dutchman's hands. A subsequent Mercedes protest was dismissed, and despite originally serving a notice of intent to appeal, on Thursday morning the team released a statement confirming they would not be pursuing that option. However, debate surrounding the events at the Yas Marina has continued to rage, with many F1 fans calling for Marzi's resignation after accusing him of deliberately contriving a finish. And despite not speaking publicly since Sunday, Hamilton is also said to be disillusioned by how things panned out. Following news of Mercedes withdrawing their appeal, Wolf held a virtual press conference where he confirmed neither he or his driver would attend the prize gala in protest. This is despite the top three drivers in the F1 standings being mandated to attend, with Article 6.6 .6 of the rules stating the drivers finishing first, second and third in the championship must be present at the annual FIA prize-giving ceremony. The ceremony represented the final act of Jean Tot's 12-year stint as FIA president before the Frenchman, noticeably silent this week on the drama of Abu Dhabi, handed over to Salayam. And now one of the 60-year-old's first big decisions will be to decide if Hamilton's absence merits punishment. In his first press conference since being confirmed into the role, Salayam Didnt seemed concerned by shuddering irony when he said at the end of the day, rules are rules. He added there would be no leniency if a breach was found to have taken place, saying, we are going to look into the side of where the technical rules are there to be employed and was he in breach? I have to look into it. Of course, we'll have to be also be following our rules. But in the meanwhile, it doesn't stop us from making a champion feel good about the sport, you know. It's easy to be nice to people. And it is cheap to be nice. And it's also to motivate people. But definitely, if there is any breach, there is no forgiveness in this. Fittingly, the former rally driver also said that rules could be improved, and did acknowledge Hamilton's current disappointment. And I always say, rules are not made. A human made them, and they can be improved and changed by humans. So the rules are there to be improved. I know that Lewis is really sad about what happened and one word I would say is HES broken. But we have to look if there was any breach. Hamilton did attend one special ceremony this week however, traveling to Windsor Castle on Wednesday where he was knighted by the Prince of Wales.